Hello and welcome, this is S Terra Rate. Today I want to play some more inscription. So without further ado, let's hop in. I think that I had had several deaths and am back in the wetlands, if I remember correctly. Why being dust from your trousers you return to your journey? Yep. And I think I got to use a bloodhound against them for the first time. Or it, whatever it is. Okay, I don't think I've been to one of these um, guys over here that has an X on it. So, hmm. There's a campfire at the end of this route too, so maybe I'll go that way. Okay, how about one of these guys? Milk. Okay. Works for me. Let's see what this thing is. Came across some familiar sounds, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. So this is a sacrifice of some sort, it looks like. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. <laughs> the long elk. <laughs> okay. Well. Maybe we could do a bullfrog just to see what happens. We've had um, several bullfrogs and I'm not sure if they're a big deal. All these others seemed a little bit better. But let's see. You callously slaughtered the bullfrog. However, the bone lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the bone lord. You'll start each battle with one extra bone. Shook off the viscera of the poor bullfrog and carried onwards. Okay, well that actually could be a very valuable upgrade, so I might start watching for these sacrifice ones. Great draw. Oh, he does look like a good draw, other than the rabbit belt. Alright, ringworm and worker ant. Maybe we'll keep the ringworm hanging out over there and go after the worker ant first before he gets powered up. So. Stun and wolf. And get us a bone. We sacrifice the squirrel. And we have that going. And what else can we do? I guess lay down a stink bug. And I guess that's good for now. It's really about all we can do. Okay. So. What else may we do? Hmm. I guess we'll go this route. We've got an elk, which would require two sacrifices. I don't think that's worth it when we have the stunner wolf. And it's going to take out the worker ant, theoretically. Okay, and then nothing over there to use. Game over. Wow, that quick. It was a good draw. Having an extra bone as a boon is wicked cool. I wonder if the boons will hang out with me after a death or if I, you have to re earn them. I bet you have to re earn them, much like the other things. Copy of it is created in your hand. And it's not going to grow any stronger. At least I don't think so. I could recoup my bullfrog. Or I could get a six bone rattler. It only takes one hit though. It's a little bit of a glass cannon, I'd say. Hmm. Maybe we'll stick with the bullfrog. Ah, I should have been paying attention. Would have been better to get that rattler. I could have boosted it too. Quickly fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said. Perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its health, said another. I wonder if this will ever go on the first time. Like, be a failure. Getting a bloodhound at 5 health would be pretty nice. I wonder about the long elk. 
Maybe that would be the best. It's kind of a risky card anyway, so let's see if we can boost it. Keep it right there, I said one survivor. Creature could become more powerful. The survivors looked hungry right the second. Push your luck? Yeah, why not? Oh! They finally burned me on that second one. Before he could pull away, one of the survivors left upon a long elk. Another jagged with a sphere. He looked away as a grotesque feeding frenzy ensued. Blood and bones flew left and right as he retreated from the scene. Alright, well, got burnt. Hey, but I did get the bones at least. <laughs> oh man, the way this game treats us is just very interesting. Okay. We've got the bone boon, and the sigil's gonna make, um, I guess, amphibians move to the right after their turns. So, wonder if going after the stump would be a good idea. Hmm. But I could send this guy over there instead, because this guy's going to move over, I think, right to there. So, let's do this. Oh, I should have went over there, dang it. Oh, well. I have to think about that. I totally played myself. I didn't see the bifurcation thing. That's alright. We still got the move right. That's correct. Okay. And it's going to work out in the end. It's going to keep moving too, as long as I don't block its lane. Alright. Stink bug. I think if that can take on the coyote, it has plenty of HP. So, let's do it. Masterful. I quite say so myself. Ring the bell. Oof. That was a big loss. Darn it, Adder. Okay. How about... I don't think we can send out either of those. Rabbit Pelt, Rabbit Pelt has a health indicator. That's interesting. Let's do this. Okay, now we should be able to take out the adder. We have some rattlers to deal with soon. Hmm. Moose Buck would be handy for that. Well, this is going to be hard. Okay. Guess we'll take out one of these guys. Nice top deck. Hmm. So it has three. It's not good enough to survive the rattler when they move in, so I think I'll have to hold on to it till the next turn. Oof. Okay. So, this guy's going to take out the adder. I need to take out the rattlers. And how am I best going to do that? They have only one HP, so it's doable. Um, but none of these are bone cards. That's one of the problems I'm facing here. Hmm. But I do have two sacrifices that can be made here, so let's do this. Let's go like that. We'll sacrifice for the stoat. By going here, hopefully they'll move over like I'm planning. And we'll put a squirrel in the line of fire to protect in that direction. Let's see what happens. Okay, good. Alright. Coyote is coming our way. The stoat should take out the rattler. And we'll see from there. The coyote is going to advance downwards. Okay. So, looks like getting another squirrel would be our best bet. Bloodhound. 
Let's do this number and let's see, this guy's gonna come over. So perhaps sacrificing let's see, when an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, the card bearing sigil will move to that empty space. I'm wondering if I should sacrifice the stink bug for that, because I do get two attack power. Hmm. Getting that moose buck though sounds pretty great. I would take out both of these in one hit if I did that, so let's try it. Hopefully this works out according to the plan or else I'm gonna have some trouble. There we go. Let's see, hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, that card bearing the sigil will move in the direction and scratch the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Alright, time for a squirrel, I would guess. Okay, well, things are tipping in my favor a little bit. And a bullfrog. I think that gives me just enough power to be a menace, so let's try it. Here we go. Looks like they're out of cards. I wonder why I didn't concede earlier. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if on sigil missions it's set to uh, never concede or something. Alright. Elk fawn, the nascent fawn, it quickly grows into milk. Interesting. And it only takes one blood to, I guess that's one of the um, advantages to the lower, like the young ones, you know. It takes less sacrifice to get them on the board, but you gotta make sure they survive. Um, let's do it. It'll be fun to try that. I haven't really explored that a whole lot. Alright, so sigil and items. Oh, I forgot I had those bones over there, darn it. I think I'm going to go for an item run. Squirrel's always nice. And... Hmm. We'll take that. We don't get those offered very often. That might be great for the boss fight. Had a hard time with it. All right, who do we have here? Ah, oh, the darn kingfishers, they're so annoying. So somehow we're supposed to get a specific pattern out here too. I think it was supposed to be uh, either squirrel and one of my big cards. I can't remember what its name was, if it was the moose or what. Okay, hmm. I'm gonna take these out. They're all airborne. Airborne and waterborne for two of them. Maybe going after the sparrow with the stunned wolf would be a good start. We'll put it in the second one so it moves over. Get a bunch of firepower and some decent um, strength, so it'll actually go after the kingfisher. I forgot it's bifurcated. I did it again. Dang it. Okay. Um, don't need to use any of my power-ups in this moment. Um, at least I don't think so. Let's just try it out. Okay. Frog. It can help with the airborne aspect. So we will play it maybe down over here. And what else do we have? Two blood can go towards something. Or two blood to deploy the blood town, I should say. Alright, let's go. All right, 
right, Stunning Wolf is going to take out the Sparrow on both sides, it looks like. Let's see it happen. Okay. We're going to have to send out our attack doggy. Go this route. Hopefully, it's enough to stave them off. It's looking like a close match. Really, we don't want to use my. Yeah, there we go. Let's say I really didn't want to use my upgrades if I could get away with it since we have a boss battle coming up real soon. Alright. <laughs> um, mm, well, this is decent. Um,. Individual sacrifice, it does not perish. Wonder if the river otter would be any good. Maybe we should take it out. That could be a little bit more diverse. Okay, I don't know what other. I know that's autumn's, but I don't know about this one. I wish it let you have um, the little hint text on what those are. Ah, the woodcarver. Okay. Overlong moment of silence. She moved to offer her cards. Okay. Well, it's on its tummy. Burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Move to that space to receive the strike instead. Stinky. Creature opposing a card. Bearing this sigil loses one power. That sounds like it could be useful with my squirrel combo. Still think probably the best I ever had was the ants, but we'll take what we got here. Gray haired woman silently collected her carvings and left. Okay, I think this is the boss battle, so deep breath. Here we go. Mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was a rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Go fish. Alright, we're gonna get it this time, guys. Let's do it. Yep. Alright. Annoying kingfisher off of that. An elk and elk fawn and a squirrel. We could reduce that kingfisher off of that to where it's not really a threat. I kinda like the idea of doing that to throw things off. And we could take a squirrel from over there as well. And we do have bones. So, getting any of these on the board, maybe the elk on, would be a wise decision. And let's go ahead and do so. Like, I know the angler is going to come out at some point, so maybe I could point it at the squirrel as a sacrifice. So, let's see about it. Hmm, selfish, hard choose. Okay. So, we'll need blood pretty badly. We need to cut one of these cards, maybe, as well. Uh, the elk may be interesting. Just having two on the board might be a good idea, but also might not. Bone King on a card, bearing a sigil dies, four bones are rewarded instead of one. And I'm not really showing many bones, so let's go this route. Bloodhound. Okay. Let's put on here. Hmm, fresh shoes. We'll do that. Okay. And still elk and bloodhound. 
I guess this is about the best we can do. Let's go for it. There we go. Take fish, go fish. There we go. And we can reduce that bullfrog's power with a familiar squirrel. And we will wait till. Let's see, should we cut anybody out? I don't think so. I think we can go one more turn before we make another decision about that. All still, hard cheese. Okay, I guess that means that we have to send somebody on out the squirrel. Okay, we got another squirrel, so I think it, we're doing pretty well. Good. Elk is proving pretty valuable. Go fish. Squirrels are feeling like the key to this madness right now. Rabbit pelt. That's not too helpful. <laughs> Wow, the elk won this round. I'm not sure I even finished the first round on this last attempt. Oh, the bait buckets. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I have no idea what I want to do to take those out. Squirrels could help a little bit, I suppose, but not a whole lot. Hmm. Maybe getting a bloodhound out on the screen would help. Stoat does have three, but only one attack. Oh boy. Forgot about the bait bucket. So I did make it earlier. I just kind of forgot. We'll use a card court. Card cutter. <laughs> on uh, this one, I think. Alright, good. Um, hmm. Thinking about just letting this one play out and see what happens before I make a decision which of these items to use next. So don't have anything that requires bones, unfortunately. Okay, let's just see what happens. Alright, go fish. Oof. Alright. Gotta get rid of that guy. Let's do... I guess a squirrel. We are gonna snip away one of these guys. Snippy snip. That squirrel is blocking that guy, so that's good. Now, I don't know if the bait buckets can advance on their own. They look like they're stuck in place, so maybe if I can put something to block the elk and just keep attacking this area, I'll have a good chance at making it through. Um, in that case, we could sacrifice a squirrel and get our stunning wolf out. And put it over here. I think that's safe. Okay. And I could also get a stoke out at this point. Let's double check. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. Good attack direction and everything too. Okay, I think this is gonna work. Let's see. Oh, the bait buckets do advance. That's unfortunate. Probably about to get some overkill action over here. Um, I think it. We're kind of forced to take a scroll on this one. This guy's gonna hit that. That's gonna get hit too. Um, yeah, it's rough. Too bad I can't sacrifice a squirrel in my hand and one on the board. Two and four. Well, I guess let's just do it. 
Hey, that's better than I expected, actually. Bait buckets are sitting there menacingly. And river otter. Okay. And it's a waterborne. Okay. Well, I am thinking we just keep what we have out, out right now. There we go. Well, we beat the angler. First time. You will not perish quite yet. Perhaps some of these will entice you. The amalgam. Canine. Hooved. Reptilian. Feathered. Insectoid. The amalgam is all. Ouroboros. And the pack rat. Card bearing a sigil pierces is a copy of its creed in your hand. Oops. Um. Let's see the amalgam again. I think I enjoyed it, having it handy last time. I really need to get something that uses bones. I should have probably looked at a little bit more. Consider one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. We will need another map. Frigid gust, a wind billowed, unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You descend into the snow line. Let me see. I wanted to check over here on the board what our pattern is again. Okay, the moose buck and the squirrel. Okay. So we need to get the moose buck and the squirrel. Okay. Let's see if we can make that happen. I know it might be a little tricky, but I'd love to see if it's possible. The kingfisher, the adept kingfisher, a slippery hunter. Grizzly. Monster skill grizzly <laughs> its form speaks enough of its efficacy. In Lewis. Interesting. Um let's take Lewis along. <laughs> or Louie. I'm not sure how that one's pronounced. Maybe Louie. Okay. Uh squirrel. And I think I have bones in the background. Hmm. A lot of my stuff is blood based. This is the creatures will attack as though they have the airborne sigil this turn. Hmm. Maybe we'll go to the squirrel. It's kind of universally great. And a goat. Looks like a mini boss or something around away. I bet we're about to see some new stuff. <laughs> Alright, alas, we meet again in a nice top deck. And I want to try to replicate what's in the photo because I think I have both things I need. Um, the moose buck and the squirrel. So, do we have enough? Hmm. I need three blood. And I would get three if I could get the goat. So, maybe we can pull this off. I don't think this is going to... Well, maybe it will work out. Put that guy over there. And then this guy like right here. Ah! Something did happen. I think I heard it shake. Okay. We have a moose buck to worry about too. Over on that side. So, what could we do? It takes... Hits pretty hard. It's going to move to the right too. Um... We don't have anything to use bones with. I could sac sacrifice the squirrel and get our stunning wolf out on the field. I think that we want to go here because it's going to move to the right. This guy's going to move to the right too. Okay. Um, I think it's about this we can do for this moment. Okay. That's all we needed to do actually. Let's go back and see what's over at this thing now. Huh. Interesting. Looks like... Looks like a little plant, I guess. Oh, I actually took it. Um... Where does it go? 
Arg, you really did it. I think I'd seen stuff come out of that painting right here. What is it? A dude that said it. Mm, we put that from the oil painting. Must not like the cards that ideally fine. Well. Interesting, I don't see what effect that had on anything. You know, I wonder if I can solve these again since I died and everything. Let me try. I can't remember if I ever did get around to seeing. Okay, nothing new. What else do we have here? Give me those teeth. Okay, and what else is there to do? Hmm. Don't really think there is anything else. Okay. So this looks interesting. That's a new symbol, I believe. We're all going to end up going to the sacrifice thing. So let's let's see what this is. If it's a trap. You're out of the inky black mouth of a cave. Well, that's creepy. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke past one of my trials, and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Two creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. A trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The trial of health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. The trial of kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. Well, I can't think of what's in my deck right now. Um, <laughs> I think there's a decent chance that I could pass the health. Um, the kin, I'm not sure. This one is sigils. I think there's a good chance between these two. I'm going to go with the right one. Let the trial of health begin. Got it. First trial. Seven from the moose bug, two from the bullfrog, six from the stink bug. You passed the trial. The beast rebuilt itself. It was. Oh, we get one of three. Oh man, the great white sounds great, actually. Airborne and waterborne. The bat. Worthy sacrifice. The card bearing sigil is counted as three blood rather than one when sacrificed. It takes bones, so bones the blood. And a porcupine with a touch of death. Oh man. I think I'm gonna go with the Great White. It sounds extremely annoying. The inhabited Great White joined your menagerie. Here we go. Who are we going to sacrifice? Well, hmm, we spuck is kind of hard to use. Do you have elk, fawn? If we could just make the last one round, be pretty handy. I don't know about Louie. What's in Louie on its way? <laughs> Another bone boon. Okay. Alright. Let's see. I think it... What's up ahead? We have a fire. We have a mushroom event. Maybe it'd be interesting to check that out. Let's go up that way. Okay. Ah, oh, the Malcolm also got powers. I wonder if it has, because it has a little bit of everything, it gets powers from any sigil um, combination. Alright, Elk Fawn. Probably want to take them out first round if we can. If 
unfortunately I don't have enough blood to deploy a good attack pattern. Well, sticking out one is better than none, I suppose. Hmm. I guess let's try it out. We're gonna move to the right as well. I guess going here might be a smart idea. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe going there was a better idea. <laughs> okay. Bad, bad. Well, I only have, I think, one card that can benefit from bones, unfortunately. I only have three, and I think it takes four. Squirrel it is. Um, we can put the stink on them. Cut down their power. And that'll at least buy me a little time. Okay. Well, I don't have enough to get either of these going. So I think I'm going to have to do something like that. And if I put a squirrel down instead, so. Ooh, this round might go to them. My strategy is not the best. Okay. We spec amalgam and a squirrel. Well, we'd have enough to deploy the amalgam at least. So let's see what we could get done. Well, we can't take out anybody, um, but we can at least target one of those um, elks because it will not be able to hurt them quite as much since the amalgam has that stink on it as well. So it'll survive. It'll possibly do over damage too depending on what's drawn. Okay. I think this is GG for me though. Oof. It just occurred to me, I wonder if there will be a way to get a third candlestick um, going on this, because it looks like it's kind of lopsided and could be missing one. Hey, what is this guy for? Ah. I bet I just wasted that. Darn. All right, turkey vulture. Let's see about this fungus. Found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. Squinting to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. Oh, that's creepy. And we are performing our experiments far from from. We're not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We, we will need two of the same creatures, one for each of us. Oh dear, you, you don't have any duplicate cards. Take one of ours, we will use it next time. Okay, um, let's experiment with a, I think a bloodhound might be a good idea. Okay. Looks like one route out of this town. Let's go. Good. Get some bones. That can go towards turkey vulture. Alright. Moosebuck and a mole man. Ah. Jeez. That's a hard start to things. Um, well, we can't get a stink bug going. We'll at least uh, place it over here. And could get the river otter going as well. But I kind of want to save it for the bloodhound. I don't know. This isn't ideal, I'll say that much. 
Here we go. We'll just see how it goes. I think I invested too much into blood cards and should have paid greater attention to uh, what was happening with my deck. Oh well. Oh, that mole man's going to be such a problem. I could throw them down here and then take some heat off of that blast. So, let's see. Alright. I think that maybe I can repeat that step or two until we get rid of the mole man. Maybe not the best move in the world, but I think it's about all we have. Hmm. I'm gonna chance it and go from this pile. Okay. Well, we put the amalgam down. We could weaken the moose buck, or we could do over damage on the elk fawn. Hmm. We'd have to sacrifice both of those, and both of these don't do damage or uh, defensive, so if we did this, that'd be plus three, or just plus one, so I guess maybe doing an amalgam is the best idea. Not positive, but I think it may be, I thought that one, oh, not enough. Uh, at least I don't think it's going to be enough. Um, well, Malgum will almost get rid of the moose buck, but not quite. And the elk is still going to be there. It only has one HP. So, ah, I guess we got to try this. The elk fawn. Yeah, I think cards weren't with me on this one. Too bad, so sad. Maybe I'll get to use the camera. Death card, beautiful, but it could use some detail. Choose a card to choose a cost from. We're gonna make it no cost. Cost of free from the rabbit belt. And then this one will be power and health, the numbers. Well, I think, let's start with the great white, why not? And the sigils. Be interesting to see it grow stronger and move. Why don't we try? Okay. But one last thing to do. Stay still. Give me the camera. Give me the camera. <laughs> oh man. It's gonna be hard to start all the way over again. Make our way through the angler in particular. But I think things are getting a little bit better. Preview, where's the short order? What is that? Try to stay focused. A gift from the angler. See, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. Be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Fascinating. I wonder if that comes even if I die. Like, it'll be back. Alright, I have a decent starting deck, I think. Study it. Yeah, I think that I'm good. Let's go. Alright. Going over here to enhance something I think would be a good start. Oh, I get to keep using the clover. Good. Um, bone. Hey, I got myself. 
Perfect. Okay. I think I'll boost the health. Um, maybe twice. Warm light of the campfire is a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampen the greeting. Warm a creature by fire and enhance its health, said one. Okay. I think it'd be worth getting this one boosted. You know, kind of think about it. I wonder if. Why would this be a bone one? I wonder if these are my previous, like each of your previous selves, you get to keep using over and over. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Okay, that smells so one survivor. All right, we're not gonna push it. Goodbye. Suspected intentions of survivors are less than pure. We'll keep moving. <laughs> I think I may skip some of those dialogues unless there's something unique about them. I think I won't repeat them. Okay. Another airborne sigil fight. This is an airborne blocker. And a pronghorn is going to come after us. A multi directional attack. Perhaps taking out that boulder would be a good idea. Do need some bone to get through this. And then this is the eyeball route, so what should we do? What should we do? Maybe going after the boulder would be a good start to things. I'll also get a bone and go towards my self-named card. Okay. Let's ring the bell. Okay. I think I'll go ahead and get my self name card out. Oh, I need bones. Um, so we'll do that by conjuring up the stoat. I think it'll be okay. Actually, it should have been <laughs> better. Just like the stoat said, I should put it the other side. Oh well. We're going to do enough damage quickly that I don't think we're going to lose. Ah, Stunned Wolf. Okay. There we go. As soon as the bullfrog takes that out, I might send the wolf out. I don't even have to wait that long. Salutations. Okay, good. Hmm. Okay. Another four leaf clover situation. Kingfisher, river otter, and the river snapper. I wonder if an enhanced Kingfisher would be a little bit overpowered. I bet it would be. I think we'll try for it. Okay, so I have three items already, so maybe let's go this route. Alright, Woodcarver. The Guardian. have to have, I think this is amphibians, I don't have any in my hand right now, burrower, empty space for truck, hard bearing sigil will move to that space to receive the truck instead. Maybe that would be good with squirrels. Alright, here we go. Let's see how it plays out. Okay, what are we going to get here? We have porcupines and the coyotes. 
Now, I could get... I think I should place, place my self name card here. And have him get in a porcupine attack. And I have six health, so I can endure that. It's not going to move to the right. It has quills. Um, I think it might be worth getting that first turn. So we'll use up a squirrel. Okay. Actually, yeah, we'll get rid of the... We'll use the sun and wolf. There we go. So I won't quite be able to... I must trust you. Um, let's see. So we could put out the kingfisher and that gets our second bone. Then we can play this guy. And I should have <laughs> rearranged it again. Dang it, I've got a bad habit of that. I need to slow down a little bit. I think I'm just moving too fast. Okay, didn't matter. <laughs> okay, so this is a trapper and we have something else here. Um, card draw. Now this would be a sigil replacement and items. Hmm. Let's go to the trapper. I don't think I have a whole lot of teeth, but let's see. Definitely don't have enough for that. So I could get another rabbit pelt though. Hmm. Maybe we'll just save up for now. Okay. Only one way to go with this. Alright, sigil time. Stinky. Stinky and on that would be nice. Kingfisher would be hard to stop if it could take things down, but it really needs some health. Um, a stinky bullfrog might be interesting, but you know, whatever I draw here is going to end up differently. So let's go. Let's go the route of putting that there. Let's see what we get here. All right. The sun and wolf might be a good idea. Very well. Okay, things are going to move to the right. Let's see, what is the sigil again? The borrower. Okay. Sparrows are going to move to the right. They do one damage and they have two health. Well, I don't see a good way out of that one. Um, I guess they're playing a bullfrog at the start. And that'll take care of their airborneness, at least for a turn. And, uh,. The rabbit pelts, I wonder if they can... I don't think they can be sacrificed. They can just be laid down like a defense mechanism. I don't know. I think it, we'll just go ahead and roll with it. Okay. And... Oh, I just noticed it, they resolve from left to right, it looks like. So that's why that one went over there and that one is sitting here. Interesting. All right, getting that kingfisher out may be an ideal thing to do. And we will go ahead and get it on the board. Okay.
Okay. I think we're gonna have to tip it in our favor. Nope, that took it way down. Not quite a win though, it looks like. And squirrel. Squirrel could maybe defend. We'll see if it works or not. I'm not sure it will. Okay. Imagine you'd like to replace the eye you lost. Yeah, sure, why not? I wonder if any of these have other effects. I'm gonna try this one out and see if it's any different. The choice is final. <laughs> All right. So we have these waters, water drop ones, and that. I think I used one of these. So, oh, uh, the blood. Um, so this is the the type base one. That's what that is. Okay. Finally, starting to internalize these. All right, I should probably take a bone. An alpha. Okay. And here we go. Another sacrifice. I wonder if getting the alpha ability on something else would be a good idea. Kingfisher's ability on something stronger might be a good idea too, though. I think I'll do that. Maybe there's something a little bit stronger in this next draw. Um, let's see. <laughs> An Aaron Waterborne Frog would be interesting, but let's put it on the stoat so that it at least has some capabilities. Another sigil, hooray. There we go. One candle out. It's time for the boss battle. Okay. Since we've already heard all that text, I'm just gonna skip on by. Let me crack it open, take a look at this skull. It's pretty messed up. I could just steal the pack mule right away, but I mean, I've fought this side enough that I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. Honestly. Uh, let's see. Bullfrog. Bullfrog might work, actually. Let's do it. Kind of want to save our good cards until the second act, anyways. Get those bones. Okay. Bring it in. draw something. Hello again. Okay. I think this will work out pretty nicely. And we will do this guy in the middle. In the correct spot for a change. Okay, uh, let's do it. Fortunately, it's gonna take me down. Let's see. Yep, it's gonna be two good cards lost, but I think we still have enough power in our deck. Pack mule is gonna be a pain. Got plenty of bones. Not sure how many bone cards I have left though. Let's do hmm. Squirrel. Let's see who this guy is. Last time, eh? Three and two. Airborne and waterborne. Hmm. Killer well, killer well, killer well. Let's do this route and 
we will sacrifice. And I think we'll throw a rabbit pelt in its way. There we go. <laughs> Looks like we only have one left to draw. So, wonder if we should grab that bloodhound over. I hate to lose this quickly. I'm just not having the best of luck. The alpha, perfect. Too bad I can't get it all the way over there where it needs to be. I wish I could get the squirrel laid down at the same time. I think I'm just going to have to do something like this. Oh, the gold nugget has an attack power now. That's interesting. Okay. Nice. I didn't think it would apply to the gold nugget. Okay. Um, not looking the best, but if we play the squirrels, they can at least act like a defense, I suppose. Okay. We will do this guy over here. And keep on trucking. Get rid of that pack mule. I think the scales are going to tip in his favor. That's going to be the end of it. I just want to keep it running because I don't want to waste that hook if I can keep it. Okay. Our stoat is having a difficulty taking out the adder. I don't quite understand why. It has one attack airborne and waterborne. Uh, I wonder if the airborne. Is causing a problem. Card bearing sigil will strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature opposing it. Okay, that's what's going on. I think I'm just gonna have to steal something. We'll use this and we'll see if it comes back and if not, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so we have to draw a card. Let's steal the Bloodhound and we will set a squirrel out to undermine the adder. I think that'll sway things the way we need it to be. Okay, I may run out of cards. This one could be the first time that I fully run out. I wonder what it'll do if it just starts playing things out or what happens. Or if a tie is declared. That'll be interesting to see here in a moment. Battle had taken a toll on you. You supply new creatures with exhausted. Starvation began to set in. Whoa, starvation. Well, that's cool. Pulse of, if a creature would attack a card bearing a sigil, it does not. Ah. Uh, that might get me in trouble. Maybe it'll go, the Bloodhound will go after the adder. That's a problem. Okay, my mule will curse you. Did it just open up on me out of pity? <laughs> That's interesting. Alright. We do have a coyote. Thank goodness. Um, that may be what we need. And River Otter 
I think could take out the other thing. Let's see, dam builder. Okay, that'd give us some stuff. So I think I need to put down the river otter to take out the adder over there, or else we're just going to continue to have problems. So let's let's do it. I think that's going to be the best play. Okay, and I don't think I want to get rid of the bloodhound. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, starvation. That's going to be a problem. I wonder if I want to lose this due to that. Hmm. I love this angry beaver. How do you get rid of the starvation if they have health? They're getting increasingly strong to you. Huh. I'm very curious about that now. Maybe I could put a squirrel down as a defense mechanism against this one. And building up a dam. I have to sacrifice two of them though. Let's just go. Well. I guess that's it. Um, I don't think that I'll be able to pull this one off. So let's just throw down the beaver. Just so I can say I got to use one this turn. Um, they're going to break down the dams. And that guy's going to hit. I won't be able to hit. I think this is it. Let's just see. Wow. I've never seen this starvation before. So this is kind of fascinating. Oh, and it got stronger. Jeez. This is vicious. Oh, man. I did not think I would lose against the prospector with all the advantages I had. Luck of the draw, I suppose. Okay. It's gonna cost one blood. Didn't get enough cards. Oh wow. Well this is super handy. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Well, that's a really weird card. <laughs> Alright, take my picture. I wonder if in order to use the film reel, I have to make it through all the bosses in order to uh, get that moment. And there's a challenger. Did I, did I tell you? You to tell the one who came before you. They fell to a mad prospector. I think I was between that man and his gold. Are you paying attention? Keep your mind focused on the game. Your pitiful deck. Huh. I think we can make that work. All right, let's go back for a second. I want to look around this a little bit. Okay. Oh. Well, that was about. All right, a skink and a squirrel. I wanted to try to do that. I wonder. If I will be able to um, get different things if I keep unlocking those, and it's like part of the key to all this, you know. Let's pick those teeth out. Huh. I wonder if there's a way to light that. I wonder if I just lost my chance to light that or something. This looks like some sort of puzzle or something needs to happen. Hmm. Just looking around a little bit more before I run away. Mark, watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. An old rival man, mine, that fisherman. He best me his time, but I will have another chance. 
All right. Skink and a squirrel. Let's get this one more run. All right. Hey, power up. Sounds pretty good. That one's just a straight sacrifice, I think. Let's go this route. Let's get a three blood. Okay. We will do it. And we will get a power up while we're at it. Alright. Let's see who we are going to put. How about... How about our stunned wolf? It sounds... It sounds pretty good to me, actually. We'll go for two rounds. And we will back off after that. Okay. Good, we got our angler back and we got our dagger as well. So that's awesome. Alas, we meet again. Nice top deck from the stove. Alright. These guys are going to be moving to the right. So this one's going to go over that way. So I kind of need to have them lined up here. Okay. I think it would be good to put the bullfrog in that lane so it blocks the airborne. Okay. And that looks good to me. Okay, and the stunned wolf could come out next, I think. There we go. That should hit it, and it'll take some damage, but I think it'll work. Okay, now we should be able to pull our stoat. This spot, you sure? Yeah, we'll do it. GG. Okay. Luck of the draw. A warren. I should have read what it said. Doubtful something. Rabbit hole. When a card bearing a sigil is played, a rabbit is created on your hand. Rabbit is defined as zero power and one health. I just don't know how great that would be. And we got pronghorn, and maybe if we got. What would this be good for? Played a rabbit's crater hand. A rabbit's finding zero power and one health. Hmm. I mean, I guess there's defensive blocking a little bit. Six bones for a rattler, though. I'm going to go with the pronghorn. That just feels like the best. Okay, is this sacrifice time? I don't know, woodcarver. I always want to call it something else. It looks deadly. Okay, that's the... If we take a head, we won't be able to do anything, though. Maybe we could just go that route. We'll give our squirrels some defensive add-on. Okay. Alright. What do we have? Sparrow and a skunk. Skunk is stinky too. No attack, but three health. Maybe putting a pronghorn down in the line of duty would help stick out the skunk. 
we'll put it over here. I'm glad I chose this guy for a scene. Okay. I think that's about the best we can do here in this moment. Alright, what can we get? Bullfrog and Stoat. I guess a squirrel. And we have a sparrow we need to get rid of. I guess a bullfrog would be a good thing to do. There we go. Okay. Let's see about that stoat. I think it will go ahead and use them for this one because Pronghorn's going to move over and do some damage in its next turn, I believe. So we'll go like this. I don't think it's a bad play. We'll see about that. We needed it. We need to get rid of that skunk because it's going to keep being a problem with us. Yes, I think you got me this time. I knew it. See, told you. Knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> All right, trapper, um, a sigil upgrade, fight, and some sort of species pick. I think that. Well, we do have a wood carver. Mm. I don't know. I have bad luck with the wood carver. I think we'll go this route. It just hasn't really panned out for me. Alright. I have enough to get the wolf pelt, I think. Don't have enough to get the golden pelt, though. Let's get the wolf pelt. Okay. Okay, who are we going to put on the sacrifice? We'll take their sigils. Hmm. Taking the stink may be a good idea, actually. I think that some durability on the stay would be a good idea. Another sigil, that's right. Okay. What are we gonna do now? We have a fur, we have a porcupine, and a coyote. Luckily we have a stoat, which will lure that coyote a bit, I think, be able to take them out. So that's pretty great. Maybe we could do that. Hmm. I think we're going to need to do that, really. I think it's going to work out. Okay. Okay, and let's get a bullfrog going. Fortunately, it may not survive, but it's something, right? We need to clear out those porcupines because they're going to just keep annoying us. Gives us some defense, too. Alright, Stoat, I believe, will be able to take out the Sparrow when the time comes. I think it has just enough HP left. It'll it'll at least be really close. I should have enough bones. Could try for this. Ah, uh, pronghorn. That's less than ideal. Hmm. Okay.
Okay, I think that I'm good to go to the next turn. And now we can get our pronghorn going. And we'll do the diagonal attack. Kabam. Two for one special. Alright, time to get a squirrel. Good. Alright. We already have a pronghorn. Maybe getting a bird would be a good idea. I don't know. I do kind of like the wolves and coyotes. Let's go that route. Be good to have another bone based guy on our side. Ah, uh, the card cutter. We'll do it. I think I'm just going to card cut the mule right off the bat. Okay. Oh, I can smell it. Alright. Let's, let's see, I'm thinking that the pack mule won't be loaded until it gets down here, so let's see about other opportunities. It takes three to get that guy going. Hmm. And it dies, so we'll go with that. Okay. Okay, good. So let's uh, go ahead and cut that mule as soon as we can. Snippy snip. Oh, no, that's crap. Okay, good. It let me take it back. I was about to get raged. All right. So, playing a bullfrog. <laughs> um, I guess that's about all we have. We'll take out the coyote and hit, I think. I'm not positive. Depends on if that mole comes out after us. Let's see. Okay. And that's about all we can do in this moment. Don't want to play our super powerful stuff. Maybe we'll just suck up on squirrels for a few turns until a threat approaches. Okay. Well, that's a big enough threat. I think that we're going to have to overpower that coyote or else we're going to be in trouble that takes three blood mm. I think I've already played myself here a little well um, I hate to have to cut up that coyote could hit the scale in my favor That'll be enough though. Let's draw from this and we'll let we'll know what to do. Okay. Stoke can handle the coyote. More than handle it really. There we go. keep getting squirrels so that we'll be ready for the next fight. Let's 
because we know we're gonna lose these guys in a minute now. Hopefully, we don't get starvation. Good. This may be the most cards I've held in my hand at once. That me hold is defenseless. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I think I have to draw, so we'll do that. Okay. Do your worst. I'm ready for you. Guess we're starting starvation time too. Okay, Cody time. Let's see, let's double check that. Might be turkey vulture time actually. Yes, good. Get him. Time to bring this battle to a close. Oh no. Starvation is at play. I wonder if I can cut it up. Hey, take that sucker. Okay. Pronghorn. Stunned wolf. Okay, I think Stunned Wolf will get us there. Okay, I think it's a word. Got him. Okay, perfect. Reignite. Alright, what do we got in the box? Child 13. Hmm. Let's do it. Doesn't look like the best, but maybe it turns into something after so many deaths. Alright, wetlands. I'm gonna try to play through these quickly because it's getting a little bit long in the stream. Let's see how we get through. Power. At least four attack power combined. Wisdom. Three sigils. Health. Six health. Mm -hmm. I would think I have power. Okay. Just barely. Wow. Okay. Raven Egg. Interesting. Elk fawn and the raven. Hmm. It's a dam building el elk fawn. Interesting. An unkillable raven egg. So it will turn into a raven ultimately. And be unkillable. That sounds pretty good. Burrower, when the empty space will be struck, card brain sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. And it's airborne as well. That's a hard pick. Hmm. Let's just go with Raven. I can't remember if I've ever held one in my hand, anyways. What is this? Hourglass. To use your adversary will entirely skip their next turn. Let's do that. Okay. Bullfrog. Child 13. Pronghorn. And rabbit pelt. I'm going to put child 13 in the line, see what happens. It looks like a special card, sort of. Okay. I thought it was unkillable. Maybe it wasn't.
was it? Okay. These coyotes are going to be a problem pretty quickly. Let's uh, throw out our rabbit pelt just to slow them down a little bit. It's so rare to see the person that collects them anyways. We'll get our pronghorn started and that would take out that coyote in a hit or two. Hmm. We could take out that coyote instead. That might be our safest bet. Okay. All right, we have, we do have some bones. Let's see what we have here, a raven. Not good enough. I think that we're gonna have to use one of our powers. We'll go with maybe pulling something over would be a good idea. We'll do this one. Oh, that's unfortunate. I should have thought about that effect. Okay. I'd really like to win this, so we're going to skip this too. Okay. Now it's time we deliver the raven. Okay. I guess the raven will go right in the center. So it'll take that out, but I'm still going to receive three damage. So I don't think that's safe enough. Let's yank somebody over. My Cody's pretty persistent, so let's do it. Alright, hopefully we get something with bones. Nope. That's okay because we can sacrifice the coyote to go after the adder. I think that might work. There we go. A little bit less to worry about. The wolf pet. Okay. I guess it knew far enough into my deck to see that there'd be no problem for me to get them. Alright, I'm supposing that this is the only special eye, so we'll stick with it. Oh, I'm still looking for a certain pattern too. Let me see what I have. It's a skink and a squirrel. I still haven't had a skink yet in this hand. At least I think that's what it was. It's been a while since I checked. Maybe after this one I'll do. Alright, power trial. Bone trial. I bet I don't have that one. And wisdom. I think wisdom may be a good bet. Oh, not enough. Failure. Alright, boost somebody up. I think we'll do that. All right, what is this one? Creature joins and enhance its power. Okay. Child 13. Hmm. So I could make it an attack. The pronghorn having two would be pretty awesome though. Could get a lot of viability to the stoat though. I think that 
Well, even the bullfrog would be a good idea too, I guess. It does not perish. Hmm. So that's the good use of it. Maybe I'll do this. And we'll do it twice. Okay. And that's enough to say it's worth pulling back, I think. Alright. Good. Keep on blazing. Alright. A rattler. And... Let's see about this. So if I sacrifice this guy and then have this one sitting out, I could sacrifice it for the bullfrog after a turn. Put it in the way of the rattler, perhaps. I kind of need that moose buck, too. Tricky, tricky. One takes one good hit to get rid of the rattler, though. I think we just need to pass. Okay. Now take out the rattler. I think this may give me. gets me close to enough that I'd be able to get the moose buck, but not quite. frog out. The adder's going to come in and hurt me a good bit though and take out the frog. These poisonous guys are such jerks. Mm. Not good enough. Okay. I was afraid of that. Should have put them down anyways. Need some items. Let's go this way. One rabbit pelt. Let's take out... What is this? A mirror. Power and something. Hmm. We'll take it. See what happens. Oh, wolf pelts too. Indeed. Okay. Corpse maggots. Wow. Corpse eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing a sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. Weird. Creepy. Kinda like it. A black goat that make them perish if they hit it. That's pretty funny. Um Well Perhaps an alpha would be good. Oh, I can see what I have just by scrolling up on the mouse. Okay. Let's do Excuse me. The alpha. Maybe. Let me double check. What do we have for moose buck? We already have a kind of normalish one. This is an airborne. It's not super handy. Where do they sacrifice? Count as three blood rather than one blood. One sacrifice. Hmm. This also has an ant sigil on it. Maybe let's do that. That sounds really funny and weird. We'll do it. Alright, I'm gonna get some bone. And some goat. And a scissor. Bullfrog. Alright, I say we use our stunned wolf. Okay.
good we'll get over damage and take out well we won't get over damage actually I was hoping we would but it's gonna match and then Adder will probably take them out next darn so maybe a better thing to do would be get our pronghorn on the map even though we'll have a little bit of pain in doing so maybe I should have waited another turn it's a lot of second guessing now let's just see what happens because we will get the coyote at least and I can throw it out in this other bullfrog Hmm. We'll see if it works. Okay. Well, I'm feeling a little bit risky. Let's see if we have something. Alright, a power thing. something hmm well feeling like we should probably cut a card or something gonna have a problem here okay take these out in one hit so let's see I think that I can survive this okay it's gonna be so close Okay. I don't think I'll survive, but let's just see what happens. Yep. Oh, I think that's going to be the end of the stream. Let's uh, see how the death goes, and we'll be calling it shortly after that, probably. It's another good round. I still didn't make it as far as I'd hoped, but. Um, we're getting there. Alright, so we want to get the cost. I think our lowest cost here is one blood. Alright, and another power and health. Hmm. I wonder if this lets us see the text. No, just gotta kind of remember it. The power and the health. I think that overall the moose bucks are best bet. All right, and the sigil. Yeah, let's take two sigils versus one. Why not? There we go. Go ahead, take the picture, you creepy old thing. Okay. As soon as it gets back. Um, let's just see what they say. Sometimes wish I hadn't done away with Grimora. She at least was a worthy opponent. Are you paying attention? Keep your mind focused on the game. Dealt you your deck. Center Wolf, Sneak Bug, Stoat, and the Bullfrog. Now we may begin. Let me see um, what we have back here. Just want to take another quick look. The Squirrel and the Corpse Maggots. Right, that's gonna be a hard set to play. Okay, interesting that this is here. I wonder what happens. Let's just poke it. Aha! The smoke. I do realize. Relish snuffing out your excess candles for a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. 
Well, that is cool. I wonder if I'll get to keep it with me each time I play. So that would be wicked if so. Yes, I see that you have a little something special. All you need is an opportunity to use it. I've seen challengers touch his legendary camera, but only if they are able to defeat him. Hey. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. Doesn't look like anything else is going to happen though. If there's anything else I can click on. It's taking a kind of a spastic click around. Um, I want to know how to release these things. I feel like there's got to be something. This looks like it could be a powerful item. And I wonder if the hammer how the hammer comes into play. Oops, let's roll it up again. Just want to do one more look around. I still feel like there's got to be something to spinning this. But maybe not. I am curious about, I guess we could pick the teeth out of the skull, but that's about it so far. Defeat him once more. He has no idea what you have up your sleeve. Argo the Agony. Wish I could take him out, but it looks like I can't. Okay. Well, I think that might be it for now, so... It's been S tier rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S tier rank. And I will have a replay of today's stream up on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good one.